The Brazilian Cerrado is a savanna bordered by rivers that stretches over more than two million square kilometers, four times the size of France. In the heart of Brazil, for more than 20 years, the Cerrado has been gradually eaten away by intensive agriculture. Fields of soya beans and cotton form circles as far as the eye can see. This is El Dorado for Helio Hop, one of those settlers who came from the south of the country in search of land. I came here in 1992. It was all savanna. Now this land has been cut into circular fields as part of a giant central pivot irrigation scheme. It pivots in the centre and stops. This is the start of the soya bean planting season. Helio has to irrigate 1,500 hectares in record time. In the region, artificial irrigation of these fields is restricted to certain days a month and only for a few hours. Producing food today is not easy. We're heroes. With all these environmental laws that exist in Brazil today, which are much more rigorous than in other countries, we're the country that best protects the environment. We're Brazil. Heroes denounced by environmental associations who accuse them of impoverishing the forest and its water resources. The farmer wants to prove us wrong. It's just to get to the river. This is all a protected reserve. Look, we just installed these pipes to get the water we need. That's all. We haven't cleared anything. Soon, if people keep saying we're destroying the river, we'll stop planting. So what are these people in the towns going to eat? Rocks? Tar? Buildings and concrete? But a few kilometres away, in the small community of Rio Branco, Manuel Ozono and his neighbours are bearing the full brunt of having agro-business on their doorstep. Everything comes from this reservoir. Look how low the flow is. The 120 farming families who live here have to find ever more ingenious ways to bring water from the river to their fields at a lower flow every day. I collect the water thanks to this mill. The water goes through this pipe. 20 years ago, the water level was much higher than the shore here. It flows into the São Francisco River, which crosses five states in the north of the country. Agribusiness sits on Brazil's water supply. There are environmental consequences, but human ones as well. Several hours away from Rio Branco, welcome to the Estrondo Farm, a consortium from Rio which is accused by organisations such as Greenpeace of having illegally grabbed more than 400,000 hectares. It was all natural savanna. It was public land. They appropriated it fraudulently. Of Austrian origin, Martin Meyer has denounced the presence of Ostrondo for 20 years. In the Amazon, the law obliges farmers to preserve 80% of the forests on their land, but here only 20%. The company saw a gold mine in the Cerrado and they keep the area under close surveillance with these checkpoints. We want to reach the city. Your passage is prohibited. Do you know me? In the end, we have to make a two-hour detour. Does this always happen, Martin? The last time we tried to pass, it got violent. The struggle of Martin Meyer and the traditional rural communities who live on the lands claimed by Estrondo has made them the target for threats. Hello, how's it going? <laughs> These farmers show us to a checkpoint recently installed by the company, just a few metres from their house. The guards are over there. They also have their patrol car blocking the road. This is where our herd grazed and where we lived off of the savanna. A year ago, at a nearby post, 
Josoni Lopez had a herd of cows confiscated. The farmer tried to recover them. Tempers kept rising. His leg was injured. These incidents have been denounced by the local inhabitants. During the pandemic, there were new clashes. Martin comes to advise them. They've accused us of setting their land on fire, but we don't even have access to their land. We don't know who set it on fire. The public prosecutor could call in the police to go and check all this. We'll try to convince them. These farmers have lived on these lands for over two centuries without any title deed. But thanks to Martin and his association, they won legal recognition three years ago. This document means that the court recognises the title deeds of these lands as belonging to the families of the community. Estrondo has excellent political contacts, friends among the justice officials. That's why it's a bit of a David versus Goliath fight. But the winner in the end is David. <laughs> a document which has not been respected by Estrondo. Quite the contrary. The consortium even recently obtained permission to deforest 25,000 new hectares in the region. It's a record land grab in the Cerrado, which could mean dark hours ahead for the small rural communities who live nearby.